Hi guys, it's Janessa, your unique presenter. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video, and I've missed doing videos for you guys. Um, like I said, I had a baby three weeks ago today, <clears throat> and he's kept me very busy along with my toddler. So, mama, mama's back in business, and we are ready today to talk about pigments. I'm going to swap for you every single one of our pigments. We have 16 shimmer pigments and 16 matte pigments. Um, I adore our pigments. Some of the things I love about our pigments is um, <clears throat> they're loose powders, is what pigments are, pigments are. And a little bit goes a long, long, long way. I've had my pigments for a year now, and still it doesn't even look like I've even touched my pigment bottle. That's what's fabulous about them. Um, we have a wide variety, as you heard, we have 16 of each different type. So, we have a wide variety of colors, and it, they're so fun to play with. What's also nice about the pigments is that they are very versatile, so you can use them on your eyes, which is the main purpose of them, but a lot of people use them on their lips for color. A lot of people even put them in their hair with some of our rose water and our primer. Um, some people even, I use the pigment for my eyebrow, so there's so many uses for them, and I love them. Uh, what else can I tell you? They're awesome. So, let's get started. So what I'll do is I'll just swatch them on my hand and show you guys in the light and how it looks. And enjoy! This pigment is called Heartbroken. And it is a deep pink, but sometimes it can pull off as red. Um, this is one of my favorite colors. And this is Sassy, <clears throat> and it is definitely for you Sassy gals out there. It's a light, light pink, almost, almost with like, definitely silver in it, and um, almost like a lilac, but it's definitely pink. This pigment is gorgeous. Um, it's a gold, yellow gold um, shimmer pigment. Um, this is probably one of our more popular ones because you can't go wrong with gold. This is Angelic. Um, as you can see, it's a white, yellow white. And it really is like, the name describes it perfectly. It's, it looks like what heaven would look like. It's It does have yellow tints to it, but it's close to being white. This shade is called Empowered. It is close to angelic, but it has green undertones. So it's close to a gold yellowish, but with green. This shade is called Dignified. It is a deep green, <clears throat> which right now it's showing up a little bit lighter, but it definitely goes on darker than Empowered. This shade is called Playful, and I wish you could see the beauty of it in person. It is so pretty. It's a really light, light blue. This color is Awestruck. It is a darker blue um, with a hint of some purple, some really light purple, but it's definitely in the blue family. This shade is Flirty and it is a lilac purple really light, um, but very, very different from Angelic, which is also a light shade, and it definitely has the purple undertones. This shade is Regal, or Regal, I don't know how you say it, whatever. It's a deeper purple. This shade is Feisty, and it is a silver gray color. This is one of our more popular ones. Um, because it's very versatile. This shade is called Devious. As you can see, it is a dark black with some silver sparkles in it. It's really pretty and really fun, but it's definitely a look you would have to use in the night. This shade is Daring. It's our darker brown, but it has almost a coppery with gold flex look to it. I really like it, but it is a very dark color. This shade is Confident, 
and it's almost in the same family as Daring, but it's just a lighter shade. But it definitely ha is a lighter brown with gold specks in it. This pigment is sexy. It is a champagne color, and I love it. This is definitely a color I would recommend that anyone could buy and would really love. This pigment color is curious. It's definitely our lightest shade. It's almost like a white, but it's translucent. A lot of people like to use this to just put over the matte colors to give it a little bit of a shimmer. Starting with our matte shades, we have Innocent. It is a, a little bit of an off-white cream shade. This is the shade Naive. It is a close white, but it has some gray undertones to it, so it's not quite white. This shade's a little bit harder to see, but this is Giddy. It is an orange nudish color, as you can kind of see. This shade is called Provoked. It is almost like a brownish reddish brick color is how I would describe it. This shade is called Beautiful. It's hard to see on my pinkish skin, but it is a really light brown. This is Irresistible, <clears throat> and it is a soft brown. This is Infatuated. This is the shade I use on my eyebrows to fill them in. It is our darkest color without being black. This is the shade Risqué. It's our dark black. It um, almost was charcoal too, but it's our the blackish charcoal. This is Corrupted. It is our actual black. It is a really deep black color and doesn't have any undertones of gray or anything. It is straight black. This is the shade Precocious. It is almost a navy blue. It is a dark blue shade. This shade is Twitter Painted. It is a blue with some purple undertones, almost indigo looking. This shade is called Heavenly. I love this shade because it's super fun. It's a teal color. And I love to put this under um, on my waterline or under my eye because it makes the eyes just pop. This shade is Glamorous. It is a medium purple color. It's really pretty. This shade is Vulnerable. It is a really light, light pink. This shade is Crushed. It is a dark forest green color. Almost an emerald too. Very pretty. This was one of our popular ones too. If you're looking for a good matte green, this is it. Last of all the shades is our shade Famous. It is a light green shade. 